when you add the water, make sure that it is completely to the brim, at least, or as close as you can get it to the brim. Okay, so when finding the volume of a salt shaker, usually you would need a spill canister or maybe a beaker and um, a graduated cylinder, but I do not have any of those with me right now. So I'm going to use a cup of bowl and I will tell you how to measure it. So when you're first, first you're going to dunk the salt shaker into the water like and let it pour out make sure you don't do anything crazy so it doesn't spill everywhere but besides your bowl try not to get your fingers in there either trying so hard don't do that yeah I think that's well, okay. So, when you get that, when you get the water that's been displaced, you're going to pour that into your graduated cylinder and measure that and write that down somewhere for later. Okay, so after you found the volume of the whole salt shaker, um, what I did was I taped the ends of the salt, this end of the salt shaker, so no water will come out when I try to find the volume of the air pocket in here. So basically, what you want to do is make sure that your tape is on there pretty well and secure, and then you're just gonna pour the water in into the air bubble here without trying to pour it everywhere, like I'm doing now. So after you pour it into the bowl, you can pour it into your graduated cylinder. And after you have this amount of water, you subtract your air pocket water from your complete volume water. And that will give you the volume for just a salt shaker without any air pockets. And that is how you find the volume of a salt shaker.